Welcome back. You're watching NewsX. My name is Vineet. Uh, 51 seconds. That's how long it took for the Air India flight to take off and then crash as seen in the CCTV footage. The crash itself unleashed uh, a thousand degrees Celsius inferno. Images of the fuselage uh, undercarriage and the debris have not helped us establish the cause of this disaster. Now, the biggest breakthrough in this investigation is the black box and the flight data recorder, which have been found. Well, the black boxes are engineered to endure the most severe crash conditions. It has been key to investigations like the Kanishka terror attack or the 2020 Kozi Kore crash, where uh, human error was established. Let's first understand how the black box is key and then show you an example of uh, the recording as well. And then, of course, we will uh, have a conversation with our guests. I'm going to go over to the big screen and try and explain to you what is the black box and what is the anatomy of uh, a plane and where can the black box be found well this is the cockpit where the pilots fly out the plane from this is an example of the boeing 777 200 er one of the most sophisticated and one of the most advanced aircrafts designed by uh, the company boeing at the back is where the black box is located what is the anatomy of uh, the black box well this is what it looks like uh, it is a solid state flight recorder it has a memory unit to record everything that goes on, not only in terms of the conversations or the cockpit, cockpit uh, voice recorder, uh, but also all the other equipment in the aircraft, how they are performing. They are graphically represented once this uh, device or this contraption is pulled out. There's a flash memory there. There is an underwater locator beacon as well. If an accident takes place, uh, above the sea and the plane crashes into the ocean, then these provisions definitely come handy. You will not be able to locate uh, a black box without a beacon and that is why the beacon is there and that also explains the mystery. The word mystery is of course very, very important there with MH370. What is a black box? Well, the black box records flight data and cockpit audio to investigate and determine the causes of aircraft accidents or incidents was it uh, human error was it a terror attack was it equipment failure was it maintenance all these things are only a certain once the black box is found the flight data recorder is also an important aspect of the black box it records aircraft system like cockpit command inputs and air conditioning systems everything every button that the pilot presses every maneuver the plane makes is recorded by the flight data recorder. It records position of control surfaces, flaps, elevators, the rudder, uh, the ailerons, everything is recorded by the flight data recorder because you never know when a contingency might arrive and you would need the investigation to be done on the basis of what the black box is providing you. What is it made of? Well, it's, it's definitely made up of uh, very, very strong material. It's flight path data and barometric and data altitude, airspeed, vertical speed is all uh, kept in here. So it is obviously strong as it has to survive uh, a potential air crash. And that is why it is made up of uh, very hardened material. It can store uh, information up to 25 hours. The cockpit audio pilot conversations are also recorded. Warning alarms are also recorded if there is uh, something untoward in the aircraft. Uh, it sends a signal to the pilot in the cockpit and of course that too will also be recorded. If there is a problem, uh, you know, with the ventilation, if there is a problem with the air conditioning or if there is a problem with the oxygen masks, the flight recorder is going to catch it. Cockpit audio pilot conversations, like I already said, are recorded. Ambient mechanical sounds, radio transmissions, everything is recorded. If there is another craft, aircraft or another ATC, is trying to talk to uh, you know this particular aircraft it will be recorded so in other words it's 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 uh, omnipresent when it comes to uh, uh, recording and gaining information it retains 24 hours, 5 hours of flight information uh, the dimensions are it's uh, 16 centimeters high uh, the width is 12.7 centimeters it has a 50 centimeter depth is very light it's only 4.8 kg but these models can vary 
Uh, the CVR, which uh, is the cockpit voice recorder, is a little different. It retains last two hours of the cockpit audio. Of course, it is only used in terms of a crash. 16 centimeters height, 12.7, more or less the same dimensions. It's just got a smaller depth of 32 centimeters, is around four and a half kgs. So both these boxes are definitely important. One is the flight data recorder. The other is the cock voice recorder. Both these are used by investigators like the NTSB to figure out what really happened, what events led to uh, the crash and why is it important to understand them? Why is it important to gain that perspective of what really happened? Well, on October 31st, 1979, the Western Airline Flight 2605, an international flight